Oh, the hell, y'all. We worship the mighty Messiah. We give all honor and praise unto him. That's so why I come to you to Paleo this day. That we have prayer. That we thank the all sufficient Father Yahweh for this day and every day in the Messiah. We thank you for our life, our health, our strength, our will to go on. We thank you for his all sufficiency and all the things that he gives unto us to do. Well, we thank him this day for prayer. I want to specifically thank him for the for the days of prayer, the last three or four days of prayer, uh, for the ten mile walks that I have been doing the last few days. I want to thank him especially for Thursday and for uh, as the shots rang out. And as it took the police 15 minutes to get to the scene of the, of the shooting, that the person didn't die. I want to thank him for, uh, as I went and walked into one of the dangerous blood neighborhoods uh, on Friday. It's Friday. Today's Monday. It was Saturday, excuse me. It was Saturday. Uh, that the, the police thought it was more uh, interesting to stop me and har harass me than it was to take care of the crime in the neighborhood. I want to thank you for uh, what that inter interaction with the police department did for me and did for them and did for the city. I want to thank you for keeping my city safe and for uh, all the warfare he has had his Peru and his Malak do in this city the last few weeks I've been out here uh, sleeping in the car 50 something days mm. yes 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 Elohim. thank you and I just want to give you worship this day uh, I think we take for granted some of the blessings that we, we have just to be able to walk, talk, eat, sleep, and live our life. It's nothing more important than the relationship that we have with you, Father Yaqua and the Mashiach. And I want to thank you for the responses that I have given to people over this weekend and over this whole time. When they come to me and ask me what am I doing and why am I out here and why don't I want to do this and why don't I want to do that and as you discipline me. And I want to thank you for what it does to their lives and uh, those that want to come to eternity. I want to thank you for this opportunity to play, pray for the Crips and for the Bloods and for uh, the Serenios and all the different gangs and gang members out here in these streets and that they, they come to you, Father Yaqua, in the Mashiach. They let their lives be ruled by the rule of Hakadosh, and they can, they, they, they come to know you the way that I have. I want to thank you for the brother who fed me Saturday when I went to the car show. Uh, we had beef 20 years ago. That person came from the same place I come from, the Warren, Ohio area, and we met up, and he, I had just. Uh, come back into the church and, and and he pulled me back out in the street. He left me a, a big a big piece of dope, more than I could turn down at the time. Uh, and I went back out in the street for about three or four months. Not not approximate approximately. I'm not really exactly sure how many months, but it was a short time. And I was miserable. And the Mashiach dealt with me harshly for that time that I spent out there. Uh, when, when no one would hire me when I came back. But the brother was so mad, he, he put out in the street that he wanted to, he wanted to kill me. So I, I went to the brother and I asked him, you know, do we have beef like that? And I need to be looking over my shoulder. And he told me no, because we was family, but he still be bad mouthing me out in here in these streets. And people are bad mouthing me for how I'm living now. People are bad mouthing me, but they just don't care about eternity at all. 
people come into this life and they live in this world and they they do they think they just gonna die. They don't think that there's no nothing's gonna happen after that. That this is all they have. And I pray that you will open their eyes and open their understanding. That they have to go to eternity somewhere. They have to live somewhere in eternity. And whether it be in the Shamaim or whether it be in the Sheol, it's up to them. It's up to them. relationship that they choose to have with you while they on this earth. And I thank you for all those those eyes that you open. Uh, it really blessed me that this dude been talking about me so much, but he, he decided to, to feed me. And I hope that it, it, is, it is used as a token of grace in his life that his eyes will be open. I mean, I did this before when he was talking about he wanted to he wanted to kill me and stuff, and I prayed for him, and, and, and Elohim touched him. So I pray that that happens this time. His eyes are open. But he doesn't spend this time and go through all these things and die and live a horrible eternity. It's the old. As always, I want to thank you Lord, for this opportunity to pray. I want to thank you for the lightning and the thunder that you have brought through your portholes into the city to deal with the witchcraft here, to deal with the religion here and the hold that the Chate has on this region. And I want to thank you for uplifting that hold, for bringing in more and more warriors into the Mashiach that are in are willing and able to uh, pray over the places that they live. Mm. I want to thank you for how you tear down the structure of religion in, in this place and in every place where your word is reached. I want to thank you for introducing me to the Shon HaKadosh, your, your, your holy language. I want to thank you for the understanding that you gave me I want to thank you for Professor Allen, even though the brother don't like me and his voice is publicly. I want to thank you for allowing her to teach me and to bring me into the recognition of uh, the understanding of, of, of Hebrew and of the Aramaic Hebrew and, and what it means to be a true follower of Mashiach. In Yeshua's name, Ahad with Yaqua, I pray. Amen. <laughs>